Question 14 says, a car traveling at 12 meters per second as it relates uniformly and in 3 seconds, its velocity is 30 meters per second. It then continues at this velocity for another 4 seconds and finally decelerates uniformly to rest in 6 seconds. Question A says, draw a velocity time graph for the motion of, this, of the car. Now, I want you to know that this is a velocity time graph question and we are going to be drawing this on our graph. So, if this is your first time of um, coming to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell. Now, in order for you to draw this graph, we are going to be introducing our graph. Okay? So, uh, the first thing I want us to do is um, we need to do a rough sketch of what this looks like. So, um, I'll draw this. This is what my graph is going to look like. Remember, this is your velocity in meter per second. And this is your time in seconds. So um, the question says a car traveling at 12 meter per second. So notice it started from 12, like we weren't given the previous information. So and accelerate and it accelerates to 30. So I'll draw this. Now let's call here 30 and let's call here 12. We are going to be representing this information on the graph. So I'll draw this down. Now recall that this is 3 seconds. Now it's uniform, remember the same velocity for another 4 seconds. So if you add 3 plus 4, you will notice that here will be what? 7 seconds. Then it decelerates to rest, which is 0 level at um, 6 seconds. When you add that, this place is going to give you 13. So this is exactly what our graph is going to look like. Now let us do that on our graph okay so this is our graph sheet now recall we are going to be adding our table it says uh, when x is 0 um, y was 12 okay so that's our first point then uh, the second one is um, when x is 3 uh, this is um, 30 so uh, if you recall it accelerated from um, 12 to 30 at what? 3 seconds. Next one is um, when x is um, 7, this will also be 30. It maintains uniform velocity for another 4 meters per second. Then uh, when x is now 0, um, that's um, when x is um, 13 seconds, the y drops to 0, which is where it drops to rest. So this is exactly what our graph looks like. Now, when you um, draw your line, okay, so we are going to put our line. This is exactly what our graph looks like. You can see it's a clear graph, and this is exactly the shape it depicts. Now, back to our question. You've seen our graph. You also need to also know the scale at which... Um, the graph is being drawn um, so you need to also represent your scale while doing it on your graph sheet so uh, from here we can now calculate um, now we've seen our graph table so having drawn our graph now we're going to be solving for B which is using your graph determine the acceleration of the car now you need to recall that acceleration is equal to change in velocity over change in time, which is a uh, recall that from here it moved from velocity of uh, 12 to 30. So the change is going to be 30 minus 12, all divided by now the change in time is 3 minus 0. So this is 3 minus 0. So this is going to give us 18 all over 3, which is going to give us 6 meter per second squared. Okay, so having solved that, now C says calculate the distance traveled by the car in 13 seconds. Okay, so in order to calculate the distance traveled by the car, uh, we need to employ the concept of the shape we are dealing with. Okay, so I'm going to call here, um, this is shape A, this is shape B, and this is shape C. So distance will be um, 
area of A plus area of B plus area of C. So now, okay, for A, knowing that our A is what? A trapezium. So I'm going to depict the trapezium here. Okay. So you know that the height is 3 and here will be 12 and here will be 30. And uh, for you to calculate the area of your trapezium, it's what? Half times sum of the parallel size, which is 12 plus 30, multiplied by what? The height, which is 3. So this is going to be half times 12 plus 30 is going to give us um, 42 times 3. So this is going to be 21 times 3, and that's going to give you uh, 63 meters. Now for B, B is what? That's a rectangle. So we'll draw a rectangle. Now this is 4. If you recall, this is 7 minus 3. That's giving you 4. So here it's going to be, um, this place is going to be 30. So for your rectangle, you're going to do 4 times 30. That's length times width, which is going to give us what? 120 meters. Now for C, which is what? Our triangle. Okay, so here it's going to be 6 and the height is what? That's 30. Our area is going to be half base times height. So the base is 6 and the height is 30. So um, this will be 90 meters. Now for you to get the distance traveled in 30, 13 seconds, so you're going to sum up the uh, areas, which is going to be 63 plus 120 plus 90. And that's going to give you, this will give you, uh, when you sum this up, you're going to get 273 meters. And as easy as that, you can solve this question. Now, let's do a recap. The first thing you need to do is um, you draw your graph. Then the second thing you need to do just from the, like, from the question, you calculate the acceleration. Then in order to get um, the distance covered, you need to calculate the area of the shape. So for us to solve that question, we were able to split it into a trapezium, a rectangle, and a triangle. Now, as easy as that, you can attempt every velocity time graph question. If this is your first time of coming to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also click on the notification bell to get more of the uh, maths unit videos from us.